First question, we have to know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bit difficult, but the pronunciation is uh, Shettil. Okay. Shettil Haug, that's the full name. Your first impressions with uh, your new club since you arrived uh, on Monday in night? Yes, yes. Yeah. correct. Uh, first impression is, is very good. It's, uh, it's a very nice group. Uh, the, the quality of the players is very good. So I'm, uh, I'm very excited. Did you know? before to lose the club uh, not really I've just just what I've seen from last year and uh, what I've seen on on the internet but I didn't I didn't know much but uh, it seems like a, a very nice club and a, a very nice city the fact that uh, other Scandinavian players are here uh, helped you for your integration and maybe the, the willingness of coming yeah it's it's always easier to to integrate into a club when there's other people who talk talk similar languages but I think the the whole group seems like a like a very compact and nice group so I think I think regardless it, sh it should be easy to to be a part of the group you spoke to some players before signing uh, no I didn't actually but uh, I I just knew that the club was the club was right for me and I, I think I was right why did you choose to lose in France? <laughs> Uh, it's it's a very good club. It's an ambitious club, and uh, from what I've heard, it's a club that likes likes to play good football, uh, and so do I. So I think uh, the style of play here will fit me very good. And you wanted to to new League One, a French uh, Championship? Yes, it's uh, with the promotion and everything. It was uh, it was even better. So uh, as a player, you always want to play on on the highest level, and uh, Toulouse now is in in League One. So I'm I'm very excited. Uh, the season in Norway was uh, ongoing, so you are already in uh, good shape, I guess. That's true. Yes. Yeah. So you're ready to uh, to start the season? Yes, that's the the good thing and also difficult thing when you come from uh, Scandinavian league because we're I think we played like 14 or 15 games already. So at least when I come here, I'm already in shape. But uh, it's like doing two pre-seasons in a year, so it's it's tough. But that's that's what you want. Now there's uh, five goalkeepers on, on a contract on the club. Your ambition is to be number one? My ambition is to, to come here and, and work hard, uh, to adapt into the team and uh, try and do my best. And then at the end of the day, it's up to the coach who, who plays. You, yeah, you want to, to play in a number one, uh, as you said, but uh, you, you knew the concurrence with uh, Maxime and uh, Isaac uh, too? Yes, I know this. You're this, not afraid? There's already some very good goalkeepers here, but uh, that's, that's what you want as a player. You want good competition. And I think uh, in this group, there's very good competition and I'm, I'm ready to compete. And if uh, the choice is your number two, what the fact you... You accepted that, or yes. As a player, you always want to you always want to play as much as possible. Um, but then it's just up to me to to work even harder and show the coach that I I think think I want to play. And if my performance is good enough, then I think I will play. But it's at the end of the day, it's up up to the coach who who plays, and then I would just do my best. You are young, but you already uh, play abroad. Uh, in Spain, in, uh, in England, in Manchester City, what does the uh, uh, experiences uh, brought to you? Uh, I think it's given me confidence. Uh, it makes it easier when you go go abroad again. Uh, you know what it's like to move to a different country. Uh, it's uh, the change of environment, and uh, I think for me, I brought the the mentality to to move to a different country and different clubs. So I think. It's it's easier for me mentally to to settle in. How uh, the club uh, convinced you to to come here? What what was the the message of the president Daniel Comoli or the coach? No, they didn't have to convince me. It was uh, <laughs> it was when uh, I knew they they wanted me to come. It was uh, it was an opportunity for me that I I, I couldn't say no to. So uh, I I just wanted to to come here and do my best and uh, and see see what happens. You were surprised. Uh, the, the call of Toulouse? Yeah, a little bit surprised, but more uh, surprised and also more excited. In, in France, uh, in August, you're going to play uh, against Paris. So uh, you don't present the players uh, forward you, you're going to play uh, against. 
Is that uh, like uh, a dream or a nightmare? For no, it's uh, it's both. <laughs> it's uh, mainly a dream. Like uh, especially as a goalkeeper, you want to play against the uh, the best players, and uh, it's a uh, it's a good chance to see the one of the top levels in the world. So uh, I think that will be a it'll be a fun fun experience. Have a last one. Uh, you just came. Did you? Uh, come on. Do you have to sing a song or, or something? Uh, <laughs> it's funny, Dave. I think uh, tonight is my night to sing. So uh, ho ho hopefully, th hopefully there's no cameras there because I'm I'm terrible at singing. <laughs> you stay. Oh, you can stay, but not no, film. No, no, no. <laughs> you already picked the song. Uh, I have, yes. Yeah? Yes. What is it? It's uh, gonna be Wonderwall. Okay. So a classic English song. Manchester.